Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are going to look at a new furnace installation and ductwork installation that we just completed. Uh, as always, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more informational videos about carrier systems. And if you're in the Anaheim area, uh, Anaheim, California, which is where we are located, give me a call. I'd be happy to help you, give you an estimate, talk to you on the phone, or whatever else you need. You can reach us at 714. 526-6368 or you can re, uh, visit us at albertair.com. So I'm going to go through this furnace area here that we just finished, go over some of the stuff that we did in this closet, then I'm going to take you to the attic and show you uh, the ductwork that we did. So right now uh, we start with the filter rack on the bottom. This is where your filter is in the furnace and it's just a one inch filter rack and that's where you get in and out the filter and you can go with a larger filter rack. You can go with a four inch filter or you can go with an air purifier or anything like that. Uh, on the side right here, you can see this is the condensate pump. So we have a condensate drain line that comes down to that pump and we'll pump it outside. Uh, the reason it's a pump is because there is no drain close to this closet for us to drain into a, like an under the sink drain or a floor drain or anything like that. So we do have to pump it out using a pump. This itself is the furnace right here. This is a Carrier Comfort Series single stage furnace. Uh, it's a four ton size, which is 60,000 BTUs. On top of that, we have the evaporator coil right here, which is an ADP upflow uh, four ton evaporator coil, high efficiency. So those two match together. We have a condenser outside a Carrier Slimline four ton condenser, and that makes up the Carrier system equipment that we're using for this. Uh, the other things that we did in this closet is we do a new gas flex right here. Uh, we do a gas a sediment trap right there, a new plug into the wall. Um, we have a secondary safety switch on this system. So if the primary drain were to fail, the secondary safety switch would get water into it and it would kill the system so it wouldn't flood your floors down below and cause any uh, issues with that. Um, we also do a double wall flu vent right here. We have a filter dryer and our refrigerant lines coming into the coil, which also attach obviously outside to the condenser. And then above that, we did a brand new supply plenum. So the air gets brought in through these return grills down here, which we seal the return box. So it's all being brought in from the house and not floorboards. It goes up through the furnace, in through the cold coil and then up through this supply plenum, which matches the width of the actual coil. So it's the same width and it goes up into the attic and you can see up there where some of the ducts are coming off and they're wrapped, wrapped in pink uh, cut wrap on the outside of them. Um, and I'm gonna go up there next and I'm gonna show you what we did with the ductwork. So prior to this, just so you know, um, this furnace uh, had a round plenum and it was actually a lot smaller than the coil. So was, the air was being pinched and they weren't getting the best airflow because of that. So, so we actually made it a lot better by increasing the size of this plenum and making it a lot larger so you can get better airflow. So let's take a look up in the attic. Some of the other things that we did is we did cut in a couple new supply grills, which you can see one here in the bathroom. Uh, that's a ceiling grill, curved blade, so the air actually moves across the ceiling with those blades. We did one in the living room and then one in the other bathroom, so three total. So as we go up into the attic, you can start seeing some of the duct work here. And that's all new R8 flex duct. And as you look across the attic over there, you can see some big ducts way down there. You can see where this duct work runs, right to there, right to there. And again, over here, I'm going to try to get around the skeleton here. You can see the supply plenum. So that's a square supply plenum and we cut a lot larger ducts off of that supply plenum. So before that was round and the ducts coming off were a lot smaller. There was actually four eight inch ducts and a six inch duct coming off that and they were R4 insulation, which is the older insulation around duct work. And so they were, they had a four ton system, but they were not getting as good of airflow as they are now because the system was basically only putting out about three tons of air compared to now they have a four ton system putting out four tons of air. This duct right in front of me is a 12 inch duct and we did two more 12 inch ducts and a seven inch duct. So they're gonna get around 1600 CFMs of air, which is equal to the top end of what a four ton system can do. Thus, with this new ductwork and this new system, they're gonna save 
on, on their energy bills because it's gonna heat and cool this house a lot faster. It's also gonna be a lot more even temperatured throughout the house because of the way we installed it with balancing dampers that are manual so we can control where airflow is. And all of these TYs right here, you can't see behind the pink cut wrap, but there's a damper behind there, behind there, and behind there. And we can take that pink cut wrap off and we can adjust those if we need to add more air to anywhere in the house or take away air. It's like a, a river flowing. And you basically set up dams and take down dams to make river to make that river flow more. Well, the same with the airflow. So, so all in all, this install went very well. We strapped all this duct up to code. It's all R8 duct, which is which is the uh, code for this area in California. All the boots are going to be sealed down there and then wrapped with uh, the pink cut wrap, which is standard. So, let me know if you guys have any questions about. Uh, duct work or furnace installation or anything like that. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you as always Please like this video and subscribe to my page uh, We really appreciate the comments and we really appreciate all the people that are subscribed now and look forward to our videos um, You can always reach me at 714-526-6368 or visit us at albertair.com. Thank you for watching